Today I asked my real life friends to navigate through the GD editor and build levels in Geometry Dash. They had 20 minutes each to make the most out of this unknown interface. Last but not least, I've made some experienced GD creators rate everyone's commission from 1 to 10. Whoever builds the best part wins a $30 bounty prize. Who will win this difficult challenge? Stick around to find out. What should we name our level? Should it be something stupid that the stupid community can laugh at? You can write... Yes! <laughs> Go back to me, this. In the name of Kolya. Everyone knows Kolya. In the name of Kolya. Okay. How do I move around? Oh, like this. Is there a keybind for this? Cause... The level started with what I like to call mixture of nothingness. I do appreciate the variation, but this does not fit together in the slightest. And it didn't have hitboxes, so you could pretty much consider it the triple spike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best, shut up. I wonder which one makes you the, the arrow thingy. Oh, the swipe mode means that you can swipe object. If you turn it off, then you can move. Oh, that's what I wanted to do the whole time and I didn't know how to do it. I told you you can ask any questions, you... You weren't here, dumbass. <laughs> Yonko's mindset was very different from what I expected. He didn't focus on making it good, he rather focused on making it hard. So hard that one part was borderline impossible. This will be very hard. Isn't there a steeper one? Because this is too easy. Wait, will it fit there? After adding this frame perfect, which could easily fit in a cube list challenge, this very mean fake obstacle and this yellow orb in the middle of the ground, Yonko finally finished his commission. Damn. Nine. Nine. Eight, Eight, seven, seven, four, six, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. He used three reverse hitboxes. This, uh, this one right here is not even possible. Oh. It's almost a frame perfect. Good job. Okay, yeah, you are going to make the hardest level in geometry. Yeah, good job. So, I'm the least creative person. Mm, no, you so, are just a pick me girl. Eight, <laughs> seven, four. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there is heart. I want to. Oh. Okay. It it can. No. <laughs> when I saw the clueless expression on Maggie's face, I realized she had no idea what to do. No, no, no. That, that's this very. <gasps> what? Oh. We clicked copy and paste. <laughs> what did you think it was going to do? <laughs> the first 10 minutes were very unpleasant. Maggie created uh, this. I do have to say though, I appreciate the creativity behind their decisions. Before this video, I've never seen anyone pick a platform, flip it upside down and use it as an obstacle. Truly a piece of art. Alpha. I am an alpha. We can like blue portal because we like blue. Uh, how uh, can I select? It this is already object? selected. Two minutes. No! 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 <laughs> Five, okay. four, three, two, one, and that's close. So Yorko have placed 149 objects and uh, he built 9 seconds. You have placed 44 objects and you built 5 seconds. Before we continue, consider subscribing to my channel since I'm trying to reach 5000 subscribers before the end of 2022. I find it so funny that Vlad started his build by brutally murdering Maggie's idea to make a UFO part. It's therefore one singular grid space. For a tad bit, I've not been paying attention to Vlad's creation and after 5 minutes I was shocked. My guy went try hard by literally actually buttering the competition. Vlad was the first person to actually take advantage of the playtest button, which he used to make sure that the part works properly. Although, I do have to say that the gameplay is quite basic and simple, <laughs> let's be honest, he went for the safest option, but it's still the most polished part so far. He filled in all of the structures, used outlines for satisfactory purposes, 
<laughs> we don't talk about that one. To be honest, looking at my guests navigating through the editor was torture. Seeing someone not using swipe mode and rather placing blocks one by one, awful. Seeing someone not using keybinds at all, even worse. I really hope that Ricky is going to repair this monstrosity. Okay, so if you want to actually play the level for yourself, it's actually uploaded on my uh, GD account right here, you can see. And for the first three victors, I got a gift. You will win grass, so you can touch it and finally start getting some bitches. Whoa, look what I did. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, custom objects. Well, I, did no custom objects. I did that. I did that. I did that. <laughs> what is this? Cum color. Cum color, yeah. The, uh, the cum color is the robot portal. I'm gonna have a saw theme level. I have a tactic, okay? okay? I'm gonna plan out the level in 15 minutes, and then in the last five minutes, I'm gonna decorate it. Okay, and I'm gonna speed it up. Oh, oh my god. Okay, this I'm gonna speed it up. Gameplay. After all this, I still thought that Ricky's part would be fun to play. Up until. Some crazy spikes. A triple spike. I'm even crazier. Holy shit, there is no way. That's very crazy, actually. Three and a half spike. You are a badass, actually. I only got five minutes. I have to decorate yeah, you this have shit. To decorate this. Bang, 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 bang. Dead. You are moving the object. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, quick fix. You're genius. Easy shit. Okay, and now I want to color it. Okay, and how can I decide? Woo, that's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this part escalated from decently bad to atrocious in the matter of seconds, and Ricky had no time to take it back, unless. <laughs> Game rage. This was GD oh, Substra's part and now it's my yeah, turn. Yes, definitely. Yes. That, that, I made this. <laughs> this is the showcase of In the Name of Kolya, the collaboration between solely non-GD players. This, along with white space, is my favorite level in Geometry Dash. You may argue that white space is more appealing to look at, but this consists of some very original concepts. <laughs> Which one do you find better? Let me know in the comments below. In this next segment, I showed the level to some experienced Geometry Dash creators to determine which part is worth a $30 bounty. My Wi-Fi has been out for 13 hours, so I'm currently in the parking lot at McDonald's. Uh, so. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is this? Dude, that's like harder than like the slaughterhouse raid. Um, I like Meggie's complete lack of ground spikes for the wave. Oh yes, yeah, the troll face and the red saw blades too. They really fit in really well. Half the blocks are on black outline, the other half are on white outline. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go because it's like billion freaking degrees in my car. Okay, it's better than Arcturus. This is pretty much what you'd find in the recent tab. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's got gameplay. It, you, it, you can play it. The last part, what, what, what do I say about this? I can't think of any commentary. It's just like, it's bad. All right, so now I gotta decide which one's the best part. So I'm gonna go with the third part. These designs are like top tier, honestly. I'd say it's like around crazy three quality. I think the best part's probably Vlad, because it's probably like the cleanest part. I mean, they're they all they're all really clean, honestly. <laughs> Another thing that I love about this level is that the person who made that instantly worked with two types of slopes. <laughs> <laughs> Variation is good. I don't understand why there is an orb in the ground there, but uh, I'll just uh, pretend like I didn't see that. If I had to like pinpoint my f most favorite part of the whole level, it would definitely be um, Vlad's part. Just looks cool and fun to play. What is this substra? It's literally a recent level. There's a troll face up there. Yes, I recognize the shape. <laughs> the description is just sex. Why would you turn into a UFO and then instantly return into a cube? I just don't understand, man. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. This was probably the most fun GD Substra video to shoot, so I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yes, 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 Maggie, create a new level. <laughs> Hello. Bye.
I made another video with my non-GD friends before, so I suggest checking that one as well. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video, bye bye! So hi guys, making this video was a lot of fun and I'm really happy to be a part of this video. I enjoyed making every minute of it and I like that Subsha didn't force us to do anything we didn't want. Per favore aiutami, mi ha rapito e costretto a essere in questo video. Mi sta anche puntando una pistola alla testa, quindi parlo italiano!